Hey, what's up everyone? So something slightly different for the channel today. Um, for a while now I've been contemplating doing this type of tutorial uh, style video and I decided to do this one today. And for this one I'm going to cover a product called Auto Align 2 by a company called Sound Radix. And this is not sponsored in any way. This is something I've paid for and I've used it for years. All the way, probably five or six years now. So in a nutshell, what the product does is it fixes polarity and timing issues with your multi-mic recordings. So if you imagine you hit the snare drum and the snare mic instantly picks that sound up because that's the mic closest to the source. When you get to the overheads or even the room mic if you run room mics, there's a delay between that snare hit and that snare sound hitting that microphone. And that's essentially what this software does it uses algorithms to calculate and adjust to bring your sounds closer together to give them some substance so if you have ever recorded acoustic drums before you know about phase polarity and mic timing if you've never recorded acoustic drums before let me give you an example of what I'm talking about this will make it easier to explain hopefully so here's a recording I did uh, about a week ago and what we're looking at here is this, the snare top microphone. Now you can see with this yellow line where the start of the snare hit actually begins. And through this I'm going to talk about troughs and peaks. So anything below this midline is going to be a trough. Anything above is going to be a peak. So here you can see where on that top microphone the snare, the snare sound is picked up. So if I look, then go down here and we look at the bottom snare mic, you can see there's a delay between that bottom snare mic picking up that sound and it actually starting to pick up the sound. But the other problem is, you'll notice it's picking up at a peak. That's because the polarity is off. So if you ever hear someone talking about flipping the phase, there's a button somewhere in the mixer, or you know, depending on your DAW, that you would press that would actually flip that just do a complete 180 and flip that in its head so both of those were starting in troughs the other thing that we would normally do or at least i would i would go in and i would manually slide this so that the start of the bottom snare lined up with the start of the top snare it just it beefs up your sound it takes away the thinness from the sound you're trying to record and when I get into the, the actual software itself in a bit, you'll be able to hear that, I hope. So as we slide down the microphones, <coughs> here is the rack tom, 12 inch rack tom. So you can see that one takes even longer for the signal to pick up. The polarity is good because it's starting in a trough, but the timing delay is there. And again, if we do this for the floor tom, it's taking just a little bit longer but the polarity's off, so you need to flip the polarity for that one. And then doing the 16 inch floor, you go just a little bit longer again, polarity is off again, so you need to flip the phase on that one. And again, I would, before I started using the VST, I would take all of these individually, pull them all up, and have the start of the hit that was picked up by the microphone in line with the snare. Then you get into your overheads, and the overhead starts up here, which is even further away. But it is in phase. So for this one, I would just grab this, slide it up, and align this to this line. And then you get to the other side overhead. You're going to come up here. Polarity is good, it's in a trough. Grab this, roll it up to here, and line it up. And then you get to the last one I have, which is the room mic. And you can see it starts way the hell over here. So, and again, the polarity is good, it's going into a trough. So all I would do is grab this one, slide it up, and line it all up. Now, I used to do this before even touching an EQ. This is one of the things you should do before even touching an EQ, is making sure that everything is phase aligned and polarity aligned. If you don't, you are going to be chasing EQ because nothing is ever going to sound good. And again, once I get into the demonstration here in a little bit, this will make sense. So here we are in the mixer section and you can see from this there is absolutely zero processing going on. There's one instance of uh, Q3, but that's just for the song that I was playing along to. 
but on the actual drums themselves there is nothing there at all. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this through just as it sits, uh, nothing on it, just the raw drum tracks as they were recorded. Sounds like a drum track. Doesn't sound great at all. I get it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to add an instance of Auto Align 2 to every track. And it's going to pop up this screen. Now, when I went through this earlier, I showed you we used to manually flip phase and time align the microphones. This program does all of that by pressing just this align button. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to press that align button. We're going to start the track and then we'll see what happens at the end. Now for this to work properly, you have to give it at least 30 seconds. So now you can see it's automatically going through and correcting all the stuff we were talking about earlier. Now you can see it's taking the snare top as the main instrument which is exactly where I would want it. Now you can see the timing adjustments it's had to make for every other microphone that's picked up the snare. So your furthest one back which shockingly enough is the furthest one away in the room is the room mic. So it's made 282 somethings I don't remember what the, the actual setting was for these. Uh, let me see. Samples. Or if I turn it into milliseconds, there you can see it in milliseconds. It's moved 5.88 milliseconds to bring everything. So the snare hit that was picked up in the room mic, it's moved at 5.88 milliseconds backwards to line it up with the snare mic. And that's what this software does. So now, if I come back in here and we hit play, hopefully you can hear the difference. And what I'll do with this, when I'm going through it, I'll drop auto align in and out so you can hear the difference it makes. You may notice a little stuttering here and there as I drop it in and out just because of the processing in the computer. So hopefully you can hear the difference that that actually makes. Now bear in mind that that's, there's no processing to this other than phase correction and shifting the timing and bringing everything into line with each other. It's not aligning to the grid, it's aligning the microphones to each other. So yeah, if you're listening to that in decent headphones or a decent set of speakers, you, you can definitely hear that difference. Now, my next stage after that is actually to bounce those tracks. So I'll select all the tracks, in Logic you bounce the tracks in place and replace tracks and essentially what that does is that commits the changes you have made, assuming you like the sound. So that bounces all of that and it takes the VST off of the mixer, just like that. So all the tracks are now still fully corrected. What it's not doing though is you don't have that constant drain on your processor as you go through the rest of the stages. So hopefully that was helpful and gave you some ideas. Like I said, this is something I've been using for about five or six years now. And quite honestly, this Auto Align 2 is a lot simpler than the original Auto Align. Um, just because all you do is press a button, let it play for around 30 seconds and it does it automatically. And assuming you can hear it properly, you can't disagree that the difference is brilliant. I would much rather start mixing and start doing EQ and compression on the sound that's fully aligned and fully polarity corrected than what it started off with. Anyway, thanks for watching. Any questions, leave them down in the comment section and I'll answer them as I can. Take it easy.